Oh, that's staff. This IKEA, as you may know, is staffed by faceless employees who develop a thirst for blood when nightfall comes. Inside, you will find uh, civilians such as yourselves, as well as members of the SCP Foundation. This foundation is dedicated to containing anomalies or anything that doesn't follow our current understanding of science. If you would like to survive, your best bet is inside that door. So, please, we heavily encourage you to knock like hell and beg for your lives before the employees come to get you. Go, 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 go! I feel like we're going to have a bad time. I hope you like sleep on the floor. Yeah, I don't think we have enough beds for you guys. You get used to it real quick. I haven't slept on a bed in 10 years. I don't know. I'm over 30. My back already hurts. Oh, God. Uh, well, you know, it's uh, a safe place for the night, and we'll find, we'll find another place for you tomorrow. Okay? Can they get in? No, 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 no. They should, they should, um, you know, it's, um, we just passed it up again last night. Don't worry about it. You know, don't worry about it. We are so sorry that we you enhance. Like that. Hope you understand that it's for your and ours is different. You are now trapped in the with us. Uh, but we do believe that it is better for you as we in here within this barricaded settlement rather than out there with the dash tubes. Um, Edgar, do you care to explain? Yes, if you saw those things that look like Reject Simpsons out there, those are known as SCP-3008-2. Dash 2 for short, harmless during the day, but incredibly volatile and dangerous during the evening. They have above you average strength, and they are incredibly hostile. Do not interact with them if you hear them at night when these lights go out say, the store is now closed, please vacate the premises. Thankfully, you all are safe in here. The settlement is fortified enough to survive them. How can you tell them that they're safe here when there was a murder less than 24 oh, hours ago? Oh, 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 the murder has been contained. The murder has been contained. For reference, the murder is safely locked away in the bathroom in this container cell. Body, we got to be here. Don't stop being on Stand down, Come on. I need to go glass. We should call the expert. Um, earlier this morning, late last night, um, our Iris's fiance here was unfortunately murdered by another one of our own in the settlement, Cam, who is uh, secured in the shower right now. Um, as Cam was murdering Carter, he was saying things that sounded very much like the Dash 2, saying things like the store is now closed, please exit the IKEA. Um, after securing Cam in the shower and Edgar and Ren taking over watch for the, for the night, a couple hours later, we noticed that the body of Carter had been moved outside of the settlement. Um, and Dr. Sloan, I believe you have a theory about that. I do. So, I scanned the blood splatter from the scene of the crime with my Foundation-issued SCP scanner, which you are now intimately familiar with. Uh, at that moment, we figured out that there was anomalous material inside of that blood, which means that either Carter or Cam was anomalous. So, we went and we stamped Cam, since Cam is the only person that I have here at this time. Um, turns out Cam is fully anomalous. Uh, we have decided to call it SCP-3008-3, uh, or Dash 3s for short. Essentially a mutation of the Dash 2s that you all have encountered outside. They still have the bloodlust and the need to kill as the Dash 2s, but they are human in look, so they're easily blended with all of us. Uh, unfortunately, since there was an accomplice 
My theory is that they were as well at Dash 3, where they were comfortable enough to exit our settlement during the dark hours. And that's why we had to scan all of you upon entry, because if they can blend in with humans, we just need to make sure that you all are humans yourselves. Speaking of humans, uh, I need to scan all of you all. Please line up. Okay, yeah, everyone line up. Um, Be sure to get my good side. Yeah, okay. You only have one. Can you grab me another roll of paper? What the the last roll was on your Well, I only have enough tape for one more scan. So what happened to all the tape? Yeah. I don't know what you're supposed to be on your desk. I don't know where you're looking at me. Is you little oh, 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 I needed to make a new underwear. Oh, she was like, underwear? Yes, you want to make a new underwear? I need to make a new underwear for everything. Okay. Look, one thing is for certain all of you are verified humans thanks to the Foundation's issued scanner. So we can all at least rely on you guys to help us out. Also, none of you were here last night, so your alibis are pretty rock solid by that account. So please, do whatever you can to help us figure this out, and maybe we can even find a way out of this godforsaken place. <laughs> All right. All right, then. Uh, we are on the verge of a breakthrough, folks, or at least I am. So if you all want to figure out this mystery pronto, come with me. I got something to say. And if you want to figure out this mystery right, come with us. Uh, if you just want to help me find my fiance's murder accomplice, I, I think that's the most important thing here. Please come find me. We really should be splitting the party. Well, uh, hey, if you don't know what the fuck is going on and you just want to have a little bit of a good time. <laughs> These are the notes. These are the notes. These are what we are checking, Foundation staff. We have insight and we're using it. We need to find Iris. Who is Iris? That's the question we have first and foremost. I see, hello, I see you're taking notes. What are you taking notes about? I am Sherman. Sherman. Uh, so great to meet you. Sorry to welcome you in in an emergency situation. You'd be surprised how often that's the case. Sorry. Well, as somebody who's not a part of their foundation, I'm not really used to emergencies like this one. Yeah, I've been taking notes just trying to figure out who would be accomplished and who moved my late fiance's body. Um, I feel like the only way to find out is to figure out where everybody was last night, so that's kind of what I'm trying to figure out right now. It's like a game of Clue. You need to have the opportunity. Kind of, of course. Motive for alibis, all those things. So I'm trying to figure that out right now. The murder happened around 2:30 a.m. last night. 2:30 a.m. last yes. night. And we think that the body was moved from 3 to 4 a.m. somewhere in that time range. So I'm trying to just figure out where everybody was during that time. We've been talking all morning, but it's a lot of arguing and pointing fingers, and it's just really overwhelming with all the chaos. Of course it is. So we haven't actually gone anywhere. But seeing as you are just brand new here. And, you know, you're humans, and we know we can trust you. Maybe the other summit members will trust you more than they trust me as well. Because some people are suspicious of me too. Even though it's fine to trust them. So, if you find out any alibis or anything suspicious, if someone's giving you a bad vibe, feel free to let me know. I'm trying to keep someone together. Indeed, indeed. Yes, yeah, so if you want to start, I will start with Nancy. And he's like the homeless looking man over there in the blue Ikea coat. I promise he's really nice. I, I really trust him and I'm really close with him. And he knows this of his head. So if he knows anything or is suspicious of anything, I think he would know. Fantastic. Good to know. Indeed, indeed. Good luck. Because they told you that you died, but do you remember seeing it? No, I don't remember anything after 9, 9 p.m. Nothing after 9, 9 p.m.? Until 4. Until 4. Yeah, or PM. A, 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 a. Oh, yeah. 9 p.m. to 4 a.m. That's when uh, Joe told everyone that the body was, was moved to Mozilla. Mind wipe 9 to 4. <laughs> exactly. 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 Yeah. I think, um, what I, led up to your empty minded 9 o'clock? Oh, normal day. Very normal day. Very I, normal day? How is it normal? You're stuck in an IKEA. Well, I mean, as normal as it can be. And thank you. I try to live a very normal life here. I have, I have my tunes. I have pub shuffle. Does that work? Yes. Every day he's shuffling. Yes. Well, it only works when it's plugged in. I think something's wrong with the battery and they won't fix it. Freaking science nerds don't even know that science and I plug shuffle. Well, last night. Right. Um, nine o'clock. I was like in my uh, bed. 
listening to music. And uh, I don't know, to be honest, I thought I fell asleep. And then I just woke up when Joe was like, body was gone. I was like, what, what body is it? You went and heard him scream? You thought you, fall, you fell asleep. Right, but apparently I was awake the whole time. What do you mean you apparently were awake? Like, people saw you moving around, but you don't remember it? Were you like, yeah. your eyes were open? Or are you like, were you sleeping with like your eyes open? I, I don't think I was like asleep. Her? I think my mind was wiped. Hmm. My memories. Where did they say you were during this nine to four time? If you weren't in bed, where did they say you were? Oh, well, um, uh, up until um, two, I think, well, two is when, when we all woke up and, and heard Carter and Cam making a commotion in the living room. So they didn't tell me. Um, but, you know, we, I was there, apparently, standing. I was very conscious and uh, alert, is what they're saying. And um, then we all went back to sleep because it was, you know, it was nighttime. We couldn't do anything. We couldn't go outside. And then, um, four o'clock is when I actually started being conscious again, and Joe told us the body. You heard a bunch of, like, commotion? You heard commotion? Yes. I mean, I guess. Wait, but you said you heard something. They tell me that we all heard it. So what do you know if you heard it? I don't, I don't, I don't remember anything. So the last thing you remember is going to bed? Yep. And then the last thing after that you remember is Joe saying the body had been moved? Yes. Did he also tell you that the body, that he had died, or? Well, yeah, I just helped clear everything up afterwards. Did you, uh, did you have any sort of dizziness, dry mouth, sort of, Symptoms after waking up? Something unusual? Such a dry mouth. Oh my goodness. Like the worst I've experienced. Can you even get water in here? Oh, really? Well, you know, there's, there's running water in some of the sinks. Uh, bottled water, filtered water is a lot harder to find. Them, they, help me. they tell me. They tell me where to find things like food and then bottled water and, you know. Yeah, good stuff. The, the stuffed animals tell you. Have the Foundation researchers inside this encampment mentioned a supply of amnestics at all? Yeah, Have you heard yeah. that? Oh. Edgar's in charge of that. Edgar's in charge of that. Dry mouth, you say? Extremely dry. You think, uh... You think he could have something to do with I got a lot of info. I think it's a question to be asked is all. Can I get your name? You can call me Theron. Theron, nice to meet you. I'm, I'm busy. Could you, um... I mean, he's not going to say anything to me, obviously. I don't, I don't trust him at this point. He doesn't trust me. You think he can figure out where he was? And, I don't know. Do we know signs? I think we've... Uh, I think we can have a little discussion. Thank you, thank you Darren. Thank you so much. The stuff will say thank you, too. Perfect. Perfect. Tell them we'll do our best. Thank you for listening. Site42 Studios and its staff are funded by viewers like you. Please become a patron or visit our merch store at the link in our bio to support our work. Secure. Contain. Protect.